All right, folks, today we are doing a Tennessee Titans seven-round mock draft. I don't do any compensatory picks, and this is based on a first-round mock I did on Monday. If you haven't seen it, check it out right here. But we've got uh, picks in the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and sixth round. That's all I got. Let's get started. With the 27th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Patrick Jones, edge rusher, Pittsburgh. Kind of a no-brainer here. Um... Titans are an absolute force. The offense is basically unstoppable. There's some great pieces on defense, but the lack of pass rush, the lack of talent up front in the trenches is a very, very serious problem, and it's going to eventually be the undoing of this team if they don't get it fixed. The, the positive side, though, get it fixed, and it's basically an unstoppable team. So we're going to start. It was a little bit of a reach in the first round, but it was incredibly necessary with Patrick Jones, edge rusher out of Pittsburgh. With the 58th pick in the second round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Jalen Twyman, defensive tackle, Pittsburgh. So back-to-back -back Pittsburgh guys, back-to-back -back defensive linemen out of Pittsburgh. Um, and I, maybe this will be a little less well-received because Isaiah Simmons is an absolute freak, but we're losing a bunch of guys. You know, Maybe we'll resign some, but Daquan Jones, Matt Dickerson, and Jack Crawford are all free agents this year and so not only are we bringing in extra bodies to replace some guys that are leaving but now we have a great duo in Simmons and Twyman with Patrick Jones coming off the edge now obviously you can't guarantee everyone anyone's going to be a freak but um, this is kind of what we need and so we want to go from uh, the one big deficiency being one of the big strengths on this team with the 91st pick in the 2021 NFL draft the Tennessee Titans select Abraham Lucas, offensive tackle, Washington State. So some of the needs are real iffy for me. Um, I passed up on a couple because I just assumed that these guys might be coming back. Um, when I look at the offensive line, though, that's where I have some questions. Obviously, first of all, dominant in terms of uh, run blocking. Some serious issues, though, and, and you saw this during the Packer game where they kept talking about, look, if, if we're not doing play action or running the ball, the offensive line really struggles. Um, I know Taylor Lewan is coming back, great tackle. Outside of that, though, you've got, what, a center? That's a good pass blocker, and that's about it. So I, I think we need some some improvements along the offensive line so that we're not so one-dimensional when we get into a situation where we're down three scores we can't just keep running Derrick Henry because it's all we can do successfully we need a quarterback that can stay or it's not the quarterback's fault but we need the quarterback to be able to just stand in the pocket and throw down the field we got some good wide receivers we got some talent at uh, tight end we just need the, the ability to be able to stand in there and not be under duress all the time if we're just dropping back and throwing with the 122nd pick in the fourth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Titans, Tennessee Titans select, Bubba Bolden, safety, Miami. I have a feeling this won't be very well received, largely because a lot of these safeties are locked up long-term. Kenny Vaccaro, Amani Hooker, Kevin Byard. I mean, none of these guys are due for contracts anytime soon. They're all locked up. The issue I have is just the general talent. I mean, I know Kenny Vaccaro and some of these guys have come on strong a little bit more down the stretch, but as I'm looking at it, none of these guys for the season have really established themselves as dominant football players. So I want to try to at least bring in some better competition and see if we can upgrade the talent level. You know, again, as, as I'm looking at it, Amani Hooker, 36th out of 90. Kenny Vaccaro rated 51st out of 90. Kevin Byard, 34th out of 90. These aren't terrible, but, I mean, let's try to get some compliments to a Dory Jackson and Malcolm Butler, guys that are just playing really good football right now. With the 155th pick in the fifth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Marquez Stevenson, wide receiver, Houston. So a lot of this really just comes down to, I don't know what you guys are doing at wide receiver. Um, well, a couple things. Number one, you got A.J. Brown and Corey Davis, who are a dominant duo right now. I don't know if Corey Davis is sticking around, and I've addressed this in the past before, I think with the first round mocks and whatnot. Um, let me know in the comments. I, I, I don't know because I've been hearing since forever Corey Davis is on the way out, but after a performance like this, and he's been consistently getting better, do we just get to the point where we say, this is what we drafted him to be, and he's finally that? Why would we let him go? That's my contention. So even with that, you look at guys like Adam Humphreys, um, I mean, I don't know, Cam Bastion, uh, Batson, whatever. Um, there's not a lot of talent at number three, and since we're in the fifth round, we could at least look at it from that standpoint. 
or if we get rid of Corey Davis, we have another wide receiver. So, uh, you know, it's kind of a however you want to view it, but I'm, I'm more or less probing to get an answer from Titans fans what's going on at wide receiver. So that's what we're going to do. With the 162nd pick in the sixth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Sidarius Hutcherson, offensive guard, South Carolina. I've already addressed it. Um, I think the, the offensive line looks really, really good up until you really just dive into their pass protection, and I don't think it's good enough. So we're in the sixth round. We're just going to take a swing and see what we can get. I think guards are one of those positions where you can find gems late in the draft. So um, we're going to bring him in. He's going to compete, and we'll see what he can do. With the 192nd pick in the sixth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select MyJ Sanders, edge rusher, Cincinnati. So we're just we're just taking another swing at it. You know, we, we need a lot of talent um, improvements along the edge. We did get Patrick Jones, but even at that, we still need somebody else. I'm not necessarily saying MyJ Sanders is definitively the guy, but why would we not take another swing at it and see what we can get talent-wise from uh, from MyJ? You know. Um, so we, we need more bodies, we need more talent, so we're going to take a second swing at edge rusher with MyJ Sam- Sanders, edge rusher, Cincinnati. That, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do it for our seven-round Tennessee Titans mock draft. Please leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you thought, anything that I missed, anything that you would like, dislike, whatever. Um, please like the video. That really does help me out quite a bit. As many likes, the better. Um, I've been keeping track of the fan bases to see like which ones get the most views and likes and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to have a, a ranking in there. So um, make sure that you represent the Tennessee Titans fans and share this with all the people that you know that are Tennessee Titans fans. Get them on board. Please subscribe to the channel. Please hit the little bell notification so you don't miss the next time we do Tennessee Titans as well as my first round mocks coming out every Monday. That's about it. Have a good day.